Hiya folks, so in this video we're going to be doing something quite a bit different. I want to show you my recording setup. And this is something that somebody requested, or a couple of people requested, quite a while ago, earlier this year, I guess maybe it wasn't that long ago. But I haven't had a good idea of how to film my recording setup, like how do you film it while recording and showing everything. It, it just winds up being weird. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my Tascam DR50X. Uh, I'm reading it upside down. I think that's right. But it's a portable mic so that my, um, my voiceover is going to an external device so that I can show you what's happening on the screen. You, you can see this. Um, the view meter, whatever, is bouncing. And my other microphone is uh, over here. I'm like kicking it and you can see the meter bouncing. And we're doing it that way because I want to use my studio microphone to record some tunes for you. And I record music in three different ways, but I'm really only going to show you two ways, two and a half ways. So uh, I'm not an audio engineer. I'm very much an amateur, but I like it that way. It's just kind of like part of my style. And I'll improve my technique, but I don't think my tooling will ever really change all that much because I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with how I edit stuff. So one way that I record is with OBS. So OBS is, a, is just a recorder. It can record your desktop. It can record anything. But it's surprisingly good at just recording audio, especially when you compare it to other tools like Audacity, which is a purpose-built audio recorder. And quite honestly, it's not very good. But... You know, if you want to do audio editing and some other stuff, it's great for that. But just recording, it's kind of iffy. And my recordings are so simple that I can just use OBS and then cut the audio. So before I actually start like recording stuff, I want to show you how I have my audio mixer set up. And this is probably the most important part. So there are two different tracks. And I think I have to set it up that way from the output. So. In recording, I have audio tracks. I actually showed my friend how to how to do this because you can you can set up two audio channels, but if you don't tell OBS to record multiple tracks, it'll record everything to one track, and you'll just lose part of your audio, which is very strange. It feels like a bug, but it's been that way forever, so I'm not sure if that's how it's intended or not. But since I have two of these tracks here, the output and input, I had to select uh, audio track one and two. And that maps to, when you open up advanced audio properties, here are those tracks that we just saw. So my desktop audio goes to track two, and my mic input goes to track one. So let me record a little something here. Um, I need some desktop audio to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let me like open Spotify or something. So I've played this song on stream and I know it's okay. I'm just gonna play like a couple seconds of it so you can see what the audio mixer looks like. This is NXS, New Sensation. Oh yeah, it's a good song. But you can see it bouncing on the left side and this one's isolated. So when I import that to Caden Live, I'll have multiple tracks with different audio on each track so that I can mix them separately. That's like super important when you're doing uh, gaming videos or really any any sort of recording or video to be able to control the volume level on each track so that if you're firing a gun or explosions going off you can control that and bring it down kind of like it's like post recording compression you're doing it manually but anyways um, that's separate so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm recording in OBS and I'll just turn on my amp so you can kind of see what's going on and then we'll go to a different recorder and I'll try to show that. But I may have to restart this recording because maybe it's a Linux thing, Mac and Windows might do it different, but if you have multiple inputs going on at the same time and multiple recordings, it'll screw everything up. So I can't record with OBS and with Audacity at the same time, it'll just, it'll cause problems. So. Let me turn the amp on. Okay, so um, I'm talking into the Tascam and the the bouncy meter there that you see and you hear actually might be a little loud. Um, I need to not talk so that I can cut out the this mic. So let me like play something really quick. <laughs> So that was my 
the microphone is a, a beta, Shure Beta 58A. I usually use an SM57, but that one's in use right now. So I'm using a vocal microphone to mic up my guitar amp. I think that's like a sin, but I'm doing it anyway. So this is one way of recording. You've seen OBS. It works pretty good. So I save all of my OBS recordings to basically like a single folder. And this top one is being recorded to right now, so you can see it increasing if you if you watch it. There you go. So the one that I just recorded is this 25 megabyte file, and I'm going to drag and drop it straight into Caden Live and bring it into the timeline. And I, I actually used to hate this, that it would automatically split out the video and audio. But when you're working with just the audio, I mean, it works pretty darn well. All right, let's try this again. I got confused because I'm recording with two microphones and the one that I'm talking to you through now is not is not here, but normally it would be if I was editing. Anyway, that's just a me thing. So this little bit here, you can see in the thumbnails, make it very obvious like what's going on. This is where I started playing in excess. So if I mute this, you can hear it, maybe. Like you might be able to hear it. It's coming through my PC speakers, but that, that's the idea. So that's how you isolate tracks. If it wasn't isolated, then this would just be inside of the first track. And if I was talking, you couldn't hear me because the music was so loud. But in Caden Live, you can go to the mixer and then just turn this down. And now I can hear it, but you can't. So yeah, it, it, that's just kind of how it works. So this is the guitar. And if I wanted to just record this guitar track, just toss all that out and then move this to the front. There's probably hotkeys that do that, but I've been doing this with my mouse for so long. This is just how my workflow is. So this is where I start, right? Yep, there's the slide. I move it there. It starts with the slide, and then... And that's it. Just like that. There's your audio track, nice and easy. Just toss those out. And now we can render audio only. This is the Caden Live flat pack, by the way. So if you just install this from flat pack, you'll have the same version I have. You save it to a WAV file. It's rendering and it's done. One flip in second. And there it is. So that is one way. That is probably my most common way of recording music. The other way is through Audacity, and I need to change my audio settings in OBS to make that work, so just a moment. Okay, now we're recording. Let me show you. I just turned off my audio inputs entirely, and now we're going to open Audacity, and if it doesn't like my recording setup, it, it'll tell me, like, right away. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> This is uh, Audacity 3.1.3. I haven't followed Audacity in quite some time. I haven't recorded or edited with Audacity in quite some time, but I know that it's a really common editor, and I used to, and I used to use it, and I know the workflow pretty well, so let's try this again. So we'll start recording. Are we good? Yep. So notice how there's two tracks. This is in stereo, but there's just one. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Um, let me come up with something better to play. That was kind of lame, but we'll go with it. So we'll stop that. I'll turn my guitar down so it's not making weird noises. And uh, let me let me turn my audio up so you guys can actually hear that. It's still not very loud, whatever. Okay, so we'll first thing we'll do is split the track and mix it down to mono. Mix stereo down to mono. There you go. Another option is to ungroup the clips and just delete the other one, but this works too. So workflow is a bit different. So that's where it starts. So we'll go over here and cut the tail off and then go to the end. And that's probably good. And there you go. So this is a very basic audio track. It's single track. If you wanted to do something cool, this is easier to do in Audacity, to be fair. I'm sure you can do it in Caden Live as well. But in Audacity, if I wanted to make it like stereo and have a wall of sound effect, 
you can just duplicate it and how do I oh there's a little handle up there now okay that's I don't remember the handle ever being there that must be new or I'm just dumb and I've never seen it before and then you grab this and move it to the left and move this to the right and now there are two EG's playing guitar and it sounds like a really cool wall of sound effect and you can you can kinda amplify it by taking it and moving it out of sync just slightly and now it really sounds like two guitars but yeah so this is audacity and another workflow that I use I kinda like this one better Gabo? no it's gnome Hey, where is it? Where's the sound editor or the sound sound recorder? There we go. Okay, so I recorded something two days ago. I kind of like that actually. I'm like, what is that? Then I click it and hear it, and I'm like, oh, I remember that. I can play it again. So let's just start with something something brand new. All I did was click a button. Like there was no like pick your format or anything like that. It just dropped in, and now we're recording. So um, let me try to come up with something something cool. just stop that song halfway through so this is done now unlike audacity there's no this workflow is a little bit weird it's done recording but I it doesn't like what are we doing here so it's wanting me to put in the name of the recording and hit this little tiny blue button so if we go to play it skip to like you have to drag it it feels you know I've said this in other videos it feels very mobile like this feels like a mobile app and I don't like that about GNOME, but it like it's functionally fine. It's like feature complete. It does what I would expect it to do. I just this is this is a mouse cursor, not a finger. And as much as developers like to combine the workflows, they're not the same. And this just feels very weird to me. So it's playing. I can't hear anything though, not even from my PC speakers. So oh, there it goes. It. Uh, the thumbnail is wrong. That was weird. It started playing further up here. But yeah, that's going to wrap this one up. Um, I'm not a, a terribly good sound engineer. I use open source software wherever I can. Everything I've shown here is open source, actually. I'm not opposed to using proprietary stuff if, if it is quantifiably better than the open source alternative. And nothing is, really. If it doesn't run on Linux anyways, nothing is. So these are the tools that I use, and they they work fine for the most part for what I do for the recordings and stuff. But yeah, record with OBS, edit with Caden Live, which is a video editor, not a sound editor, audio editor, but it does pretty good. But uh, in a pinch, I can use Audacity to record and edit together. But I don't do that very often. And that's it. So if you liked this one, uh, I just recorded this on the spot. It wasn't really planned. Um, Somebody mentioned it, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. So here we are doing it. Hope that you liked it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think. There's other stuff that I can talk about in terms of recording, production, editing, and all that jazz, so if you want to see or hear something like that, let me know. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.